What's going on guys? Gabe here with the video again. This video is going to be a little different. Yes, we know the spy it ran today. Apple, <laughs> Apple ran today, you know, the iPhone 14 Pro. Kind of exciting. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to be stranded in the middle of nowhere and get to use the satellite feature. But what I want to talk about is something I saw today in our community, Trade1348. By the way, first time visiting this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out our sister channel. Trade 1348, where we live stream publicly Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, showing you the plays of the day, explaining how our proprietary AI, Invictus, Pythagoras, how to use them, and more importantly, how to use the charts. Also, I'm going to give you a freebie right now. As you can see, the charts here, I'm going to give you my chart setup. That link also down in the description. So if you have TradingView and you have TradingView Pro, you can go ahead and simply save this chart and you will have automated uh, support and resistance lines, okay? You will have uh, the RSI, the MACD, and the ADX. And we use all of these indicators in conjunction with 1348, a momentum trading philosophy uh, where the 13 crossing up Above the 48 is bullish, below the 48 is bearish, respecting the 200 EMA above and below, right? We'll get into that more on our live stream happening tomorrow, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. But yes, this chart is yours to have. So make sure you click it and then you uh, get on over to TradingView and you simply make a copy and it's yours, okay? So uh, with that being said, I really, really want to just go ahead and give Skull a shout out. 1348 with crypto has literally changed my life in the past six weeks. I lost my job in May and decided to try the system. Made two years of my previous salary in six weeks. And you know, it's really, really interesting because, you know, talk in the street is to get inflation under control, we need massive layoffs. We really, really need to, to, to <laughs> make sure that you guys can't afford shit and that will cause, you know, downward pressure on pricing. But, you know, according to CPI data and, you know, we got this chart here. And uh, by the way, guys, the last time in July, CPI came in at 8.5 down from the peak of 9.1% and the stocks rallied. OK, but I want to show you guys that this is really, really cool here. Ten things that are cheaper now than they were a month ago. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, butter, 12 large white eggs, a gallon of milk, hot dogs, tomatoes. Ah, who can go without tomatoes? Car rentals, a gallon of unleaded regular gas, airfare, and a night in a hotel. All of these, which is really, especially chicken, down 23.6%. Oh, man. I guess uh, supply and demand. <laughs> supply and demand. People want the chicken for the summer. But if we get CPI data, which comes out September, 13th, and we get a beat at 8.1, 7.9. What is the Fed to do? Is the Fed going to continue to be hawkish? Or is the Fed going to say, hey, that's enough? As it stands, the market feels that the 75 basis points is priced in with an 80% confidence. And I'm not quite too sure. And of course, we got Michael Burry saying, well, uh, check, 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 right? Uh, we got crypto crash check, me crash check. 2008 check, 2022 check, right? Uh, check him out on Twitter. I'm not going to give that guy any fame. But, uh, you know, when we talk about crypto, I mean, hey, we got to talk about Skull. And Skull managed to use our strategy and, and, and use it against the volatility of uh, <laughs> crypto, which is pretty amazing. Also, what's amazing, the wins that we see here in this community each and every day, we are in fact changing lives, helping people navigate the market when the market is currently not navigatable. It's not, right? So, you know, some will say, okay, well, th th there's a catch 22, there's a get rich quick. No, none of that, right? We're momentum traders and 1348 is all about momentum. And again, I encourage you to save the chart. I encourage you to go ahead and Subscribe to our channel so you can see us in action Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 2 p.m. Eastern, absolutely free. And you get to make that educated decision for yourself. Also, if you want to go ahead and just jump right in, well, there's trade1348.com slash RD. That link also down in the description. Guys, just go ahead and check it out, right? It's free to check out. But what I really want you guys to do is save that chart. That chart's really going to open your eyes as to how to play momentum. 
and how to play the ups, the peaks, the valleys, you know, the bulls, the bears, the toots, the hedgies, market makers, all those guys. Hey, hey, look at if you can't beat them, join them. So that's what we're doing. We have a community of thousands of individuals doing exactly that. Instead of fighting against the market, we're going with the market and making money whichever way it goes. Now, I want to go ahead and look at the SPY really quick because we have uh, here intraday, the SPY ran. And you know what we see here? Massive consolidation after hours. Now, why is that? Well, of course, we got Pablo speaking tomorrow morning and I feel like, well, you know, everybody pumped up uh, the indexes here um, so that uh, whatever Pablo says tomorrow doesn't destroy the market, right? Uh, we have a term here inside the Discord. We call them put Powell. That's right, put Powell. All right. Now, what's happening on the daily? Let's go ahead and check out SPY on the daily. We are currently in a downtrend, hence a put signal. Rejected off the 200 EMA after a rally. Coming down to a very significant level, as you can see here. Also, this level showed itself all the way back in February. February of 2021 is when we saw this level and is very, very ironic that the two worst months for the market are September and February. You don't have to take my word for it. Go ahead and do your research. But I mean, just the irony in that, right? But uh, here we go. So we showed some strength here and some support at this level. Now, if you're a Michael Burr, you would say, well, RSI is weak at 42 on the daily, right? Over 50 would show strength to the upside, currently still weak. We're waiting to see if there's actually a crossover over its moving average, although the moving average of the RSI is in fact trending down. You do have the signal and MACD crossing below the neutral line here, which is confirming this downtrend. Then of course the ADX is letting us know like, hey, the trend's getting weak. Things are getting weak here, right? So could that mean consolidation or could it mean that the trend is so weak that if we get a negative catalyst that we continue all the way down who for thought, right? Let's go back to the chart here because if we go down some more, the next level we have here is 380. We've been talking about 380 for some time. We break that there and we're back down to the 360 levels. This is where everyone absolutely panicked and it found some comfort in this channel here before again bouncing in July and making that very, very aggressive move. And this all because, well, CPI came in better than expected. So, I'm trying to understand what Fed Paul is attempting to achieve. Attempting to uh, bite inflation or attempting to overshoot inflation and literally putting us in a recession. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. The Escape. Check out those links. I'm signing out. Peace.